How's it going champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and in today's video we'll be talking about the Rift event and why when it fully shrunk it reverted to its old state when you went into a new match. So let's not stall and get right into it shall we? Alrighty, before we begin champs and champets, I just want to say sorry if you hear me taking deep breaths or whatever. I've been getting sick recently, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but it's hard to breathe through my nose and I've been having trouble, like, <coughs> just breathing in general, so but let's get right into this. So as we know, there was this rift event that I talked about and how the sky rift would be fully shrunken at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So I was telling people, hey, get in game, let me know what happens when you're in game. So all these people did, they're like, oh hey, nothing happened. Uh, what, what happened here? But when they went into a new game, they had noticed that the rift in the sky had gone completely back to normal. It was back and fully and fully bright. Now, what had happened was this uh, event had originally had been planned to shrink during the downtime of V5.3. This way, when you got in-game and it fully shrunk, when you go in a new match, it would revert to its old state, but the old state would be modified to be a very small little rift in the sky. But due to V5.3 being delayed till Thursday, the event team over at Epic Games didn't get the chance to, you know, change the date over to Thursday. So instead, when we got in-game, we noticed that the rift reset itself all the way back to where it was on, like, before we even had the shrinking event started. Now, I know a lot, what a lot of people are saying, They're, they have a couple theories. One theory is that this was actually supposed to happen, you know, it was like, oh hey, the rift is, sometimes stuff gets smaller and sometimes it gets bigger, you know, they shrink to expand. And well, I don't think this is the case, because as we know, with the rock, rocket in the sky, that thing just expanded forever. Like, it could have still expanded without shrinking at all, and we would have been fine with it. But another thing that I would like to mention is that another theory is that something will come from the rift in the sky, aka the crack in the sky. So there are two glowing lights in the sky. One obviously I think has snow coming out of it, and then the cracks over by uh, Paradise Palms has sand over uh, coming out of it. But the middle of the map has a light and over to the side has a light. And what we do know is that the motel and Lonely Lodge signs are still nowhere to be found. We got a we got a kind of the tomato head back. It was more of a stone tomato head, but Motel and Lonely Lodge, they have still not had their their signs returned, and we have no clue what the plans with those are as of yet. But over at Tomato Town, there will be an event on the 27th, and I feel like they're going to slowly have Rift show up once every week over at Tomato Town, just so they can slowly build up to what they're going to change in Tomato Town. So I feel that, obviously, Tomato Town is going to be a big point of interest in the future of Fortnite Battle Royale, but I would like to know what you guys think. What is your theories about all this? Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.